everyone, I am so excited that you are here to join us for our last day learning about the continent Africa. Today, we are going to look at South Africa. Hi, I'm Robbie. Hi, I'm Susie. Hi, I'm Miss Carly, the teacher. It's time for Home Time with Robbie and Susie. I have hands. I have hands. Watch me clap. Watch me clap. Oh, what a miracle am I. I have feet. I have feet. Watch me stand. Watch me stand. Oh, what a miracle am I. Oh, what a miracle. Oh, So very special, there's nobody quite like me. I have arms, I have arms. Watch me swing, watch me swing. Oh, what a miracle am I! I have legs, I have legs. They can bend and stretch. They can bend and stretch. Oh. So very special, there's nobody quite like me. I have a spine, I have a spine, it can twist and bend, it can twist and bend. Oh, what a miracle am I! I have a one foot, I have a one foot, watch me balance. that you are here to come and learn with us today. We are learning about South Africa. South Africa is in the continent of Africa and it is the bottom country right down in the south. It is surrounded by ocean. And I have a song today that we know at preschool and it is from South Africa and I'm sure you know it. Shall we sing it together? It goes like this. A ram, sam, sam, a ram, sam, sam, a gooly, 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 and a ram, sam, sam, a rafi, a rafi, a gooly, 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 and a ram, sam, sam. Do you know it? Excellent. Stand up and let's do the actions this time. Are you ready? A ram, sam, sam, a ram, sam, sam, a gooly, 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 and a ram, sam, sam, a rafi, a rafi. A gooly 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 and a ram sam sam. That was fun. Let's do it again. Ready? A ram sam sam, a ram sam sam, a gooly 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 and a ram sam sam. A rafi, a rafi, a gooly 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 and a ram sam sam. Do you know we have a special guest today, Bev, and she's from South Africa and she's going to tell us more. Let's go check it out. I'm so pleased to be with you today. As you can hear from my accent, I wasn't born in Australia. I was born in South Africa, in a place called East London, which is right at the bottom of South Africa. And East London is right near the ocean. And the ocean in South Africa is very much like the ocean in Australia. And one of my favorite things to do was to go swimming in the ocean, as I'm sure you love to do too. 
Now, my country's flag, South Africa's flag, looks like this. And as you can see, there are lots of different colours. Now, all the different colours stand for different things. We've got the black, that represents all the people in South Africa. Then we've got this yellow line, which represents the mineral wealth of the country. And that means that there is lots of gold and diamonds in the soil. And people go digging for it. And those diamonds and all that gold in the soil is what's made South Africa rich. Then we've got the green. And that represents the very beautiful fertile soil where they can grow things like corn and oranges and apples and bananas and sugarcane because it's really good soil. And the red, the blue and the white colours on the flag were colours that were brought over from an old flag of South Africa and they made it into a new flag, which is this one. So that's our flag, the flag of South Africa. Do you know, when I lived in South Africa, one of my favorite things to do was to go on a safari. And then when I grew up, I used to take my children on safaris. And when my little girl was about your age, I remember going and sitting at a water hole because that's where you go to wait for the animals to come and some monkeys came and it was a whole group of monkeys and a whole group of monkeys together is called a troop and there were mums and there were dads and there were little baby monkeys and they are so fun to watch they were playing in the water and they were playing with each other and they were full of beans and my little girl she just loved watching them and she'd laugh and laugh and laugh because monkeys are very entertaining and sometimes monkeys can be really cheeky because where we lived in our house We'd sometimes leave the windows open and we had a bowl of fruit on the counter and the monkeys would sneak in the open window and go and grab a banana and sometimes they'd even sit on the counter and eat the banana in my house and when we caught them we'd shout and they'd go charging out of the window with the banana underneath their arm. They were so cheeky. So I have a story that I'd like to read to you about a young girl who lived in a village and she saw so many animals just like I did on a safari. Would you like to come with me and see what she saw? I'm so looking forward to reading this book to you. It's called Handers Hen by Eileen Brown. I wonder what this book is about. Hender's grandma had one black hen. Her name was Mondi. And every morning, Hender gave Mondi her breakfast. Hmm, I wonder what her breakfast was. It looks like seeds to me. And it looks like Mondi is enjoying them very much. And there's Handa's grandma. Oh, Handa loves her hen, Mondi. Look at them sitting together. One day, Mondi didn't come home for her food. Grandma called Handa. Can you see Mondi? No, said Grandma, but I can see your friend. Akio said Handa, help me find Mondi. Handa and Akio hunted round the hen house. Look, two fluttery butterflies, said Akio. But where's Mondi? said Handa. 
Oh dear, I wonder where Monty is. They peered under a grain store. Shh, three stripy mice, said Akeo. But where's Monty? said Handa. Oh, look, one, two, three stripy mice. <laughs> and Monty and Akeo are looking at them under the grain store. But where's Monty? They peeped behind some clay pots. I can see four little lizards, said Akeo. But where's Mondi? said Handa. Can you count them? One, two, three, four little lizards. But where's Mondi? They searched round some flowering trees. Five beautiful sunbirds, said Akeo. But where's Mondi? said Handa. Can you count the sunbirds? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and look at Akeo and Handa spying on them in the bush. They still can't find Mondi. They looked in the long waving grass. Six jumpy crickets, said Akeo. Let's catch them. I want to find Mondi said Handa. Let's count the crickets. One, two, three, four, five, six crickets in the long waving grass. They went all the way down to the water hole. Baby bullfrog, said Akeo. There are seven. Should we try and count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven baby bullfrogs. But where's, oh, look, footprints, said Handa. They followed the footprints and found, oh, I wonder what they're going to find. Oh, only Spoonbill, said Handa. Seven, no, eight. But where, oh where, is Mondi? I hope she hasn't been swallowed by a spoonbill. <gasps> or even eaten by a lion, said Akeo. Should we count the spoonbills before we continue? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spoonbills. Feeling sad, they went back towards Grandma's. Nine shiny starlings over there, said Akeo. Let's quickly count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Listen, said Handa. Cheep, 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 cheep. What's that? Cheep, 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 cheep. Oh, it's coming from under that bush. Shall we peep? Oh, what's under the bush? <laughs> Look who's under the bush. That's Monty. And look what she's got. Baby chicks. Handa, Akeo, Mondi and ten chicks hurried and scurried and skipped back to Grandma's. Look at these sweet little baby fluffy chicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all following their mom. And look at Akeo and Handa. They're so happy that they found them. Back at Grandma's, where they all had a very late breakfast. Look at the little chicks. They're also having some breakfast. Well, isn't that a happy story? I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I did. And you know, Mondi was eating breakfast. Something yummy. 
And you know, there's something yummy that I like to eat. I like to eat it when I was in South Africa. And it's called Cook Sisters. Have you ever heard of Cook Sisters? Well, we're going to show you how to make them. Come along and join us. I am so excited Bev is here today to cook with us a South African treat. I can't wait. What are we cooking today? <laughs> we are going to be making Cook Sisters, Anna. Cook Sisters? Cook Sisters. When do you eat Cook Sisters <laughs> in South Africa? You eat them for dessert mm -hmm. or morning tea or afternoon tea. They are very, very yummy. They sound yummy. <laughs> So today, we don't have a kitchen to cook in, so we're going to do our best and show you some of the things that we're going to do. But if you want to do this, there's a recipe in the link below and you'll be able to follow it. We are just trying our best, okay? So we're not doing the exact things. But I have the recipe and I'm gonna tell Bev and she's gonna show us how to do it. I'm so excited. <laughs> so am I. Okay, Anna, what's the first thing that goes in my bowl? Perfect, step one says one cup of hot water. One cup of hot water. I have some hot water here. Pour it in the bowl. Okay. Then it says add 500 grams of sugar and stir until dissolved. 500 gram of sugar going in. Okay, that's the sugar. Now we have to stir that until it dissolves. Now in the recipe, it says that you do this on a hot stove, so it'd be easier okay. to dissolve. Mm -hmm. So it might take a bit too long. So we might go to step so, two. Yes. So what else do we put in here, Anna? So step two, add one lemon juice. One lemon juice, mm. okay. There's a lovely fresh lemon here. And you can get an adult to help you cut your lemon when you're adding it to the water. I wonder if this is a nice juicy lemon, Anna. It looks very juicy, Bev. You have to take the pips out so that and they don't go in. It has lots of segments in it. it Can you see all those segments? It looks so juicy. I'm gonna mm. help squeeze this a little bit. It so smells we're ready. good. It does smell good. Okay. So I'm just squeezing here. You're gonna put it in. Go. One whole lemon. Squeeze. Oh. Sugar, water and lemon. Already it sounds delicious. It does. There goes one, two, thank you. Welcome. Good idea getting okay. the seeds out. Squeeze, oh it's a nice juicy lemon. What are we making at the moment? Is this is this it or? So this is the syrup. The syrup, mm. like a sauce? Yes, Ooh. a very sweet sticky sauce mm. and you put it over the cook sisters Ooh. once you've made them. Okay. okay, well next we need to put one tablespoon of cinnamon in. Cinnamon, mm. okay, so there's my cinnamon. And put one tablespoon in. What does that smell like, Bev? Mmm, so good. Ooh, that does mm. smell good. <laughs> one tablespoon of cinnamon. That's lots of cinnamon. Oh, it's gonna make it so tasty. Put that in there. Okay, Anna. Yep. So the next ingredient is one tablespoon of ginger. One tablespoon of ginger. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we have some ginger here today, but we'll not put it in today. Shall okay. we? Shall we leave it out? Okay. okay but you can put it in if you want to. Okay, but ginger makes it a bit spicy as we're leaving it out today. So the next part of the step two is to reduce the heat and let it simmer until the syrup is thick. It takes 30 to 40 minutes, it's a wow. long time. So I'll take that for you, Bev, and Thank give you. you a new bowl. Thank you, Anna. Pleasure. Might just mix it a little bit more so we can use it for next time. It smells good, though, oh. doesn't it? Doesn't it just? Mm. I'll keep mixing while you start okay. the next one. Okay. So we can put this aside. So now this is the part that we're making, what is it called again? Cook Sisters. Cook Sisters. This is the dough part of it. Mm. So step one, we need two cups of flour in a bowl. Two cups of flour. Okay. So I have one cup in here. One. And 
two in the bowl. Yep. Okay. And then we need one tablespoon of salt. One tablespoon of salt. Right. Tablespoon. How many teaspoons are in a tablespoon? That's a great question. I think there are three. So we'll put one, two, three. Perfect. Just the right amount of salt. Right. Okay. Step two. Rub two tablespoons of butter into the flour. Okay. Two tablespoons of butter into the flour. Okay. And rub. What does that mean? Yay. I love to put my fingers in here. Yes. I washed my hands Good so they're job. all nice and clean. Me too. <gasps> you too? Okay. Let's give it a rub. Ooh, it's nice and squishy. Mm. Rub it all in. Okay. Looking good. It's Looking so like it's yum. all rubbed in. Okay. The next, next step is to put one egg. One egg. Okay, Anna, can you break the egg? Because my hands are all full of flour. I certainly can. Mm. Thank you. Pleasure. It says put 150 mils of milk. Okay. In goes the milk. And then we start to knead. So I think we might need to mix it first. Let's then. mix it in first, yes. Good idea. I don't really want to put my hands in this. First get it a bit drier. Now the next step says after we've kneaded it that we need to put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. But again, we're going to skip that step. See how it's going. It's a little bit wet. Do we need a little bit more flour Let's there? put some more flour in. Just a little bit. Is this too much? No, let's put some in. Sprinkle some in, see how that yeah, goes. See how that goes. I think I'm going to put my hands in here now. And to knead it, how about we put a little bit of flour on our table too? Mmm. Some here. It's looking good. It's so nice and soft and gooey. We can knead it like we need our Play Doh. Yes. Okay. Can I please have some when you're ready, Bev? Yes. So I'll give you a piece. Thank you so much. Yeah. And while you're doing that, I'm going to just put some more flour on here. Good idea. <clears throat> so Bev, this is the part where it tells us to yes. put them into balls so that we can plait it. Yes. Is, this a, is there a special way that in South Africa they plait it? Well, I think there is a special way that you plait these. Mm -hmm. How many pieces do you get? I, when I plait my hair, I need three pieces. And I think it works exactly the same as oh. when you plait hair. So Australia is the same as South Africa? It is. Okay. Isn't well, that good? It is. It tells me to put it into a ball. Yes. I'm going to put a little bit more flour in it because it's meant to mm. sit for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then... Do you have a knife? Oh, that's so good. Handy. Okay. Going to cut three, one, just two cuts so I can make yes, good idea. three. Mm. And then I'm going to, how do I plait this small ball? Mm. Have I done something wrong, Bev? I read the recipe. No, I think. Like this? Oh, it's too small. I think it might need to be a bit longer. Okay, so let's try so again. So why, yeah, why don't we take, there's a piece, and here's a piece, and maybe you make one more, then we've got one. Oh, and then we plait the yes. just one. Yeah. Oh, we put three of them together, there's one. 
Well, you do it that way. way. The recipe says to do it this way, so I'm going to give it a try. Okay, this way. you go that way. I think mine are going to be a bit too fat. It's all right. You can try different ways. So I think I took your advice and I made them nice mm -hmm. and long. Yeah. And then I made three little marks like this, and then I'm going to pluck. So they're all still together at the top. Ah, okay. Is what the recipe is saying. Okay. Then we take the side piece over, side piece over. We just keep doing that. Take the oh, side piece that. over the middle. Well done. Thank you. And then I have a plait. You do. And that looks exactly like a cook sister. Yes. Well I have made done. a cook sister. Never you before. Did. Can I do mine a different way? Yes, please. I'd love to see it. So I am going to take just two pieces and I am going to just twist them together. Go twist and twist and twist so that it looks like that. Wow. Well, the recipe tells us to now put these in a big hot vegetable oil and cook them up. And then when we're finished doing that, pour our yummy, yummy syrup on it. And do you know what? What? You must have made some twisted ones before because here are already some that are finished. Oh, they look yummy. They do, and they're twisted. Mmm, they are. Would you like to try one? I would love to try one. Let's just get all this flour off my fingers. Oh no, I can't wait. They look so <laughs> delicious. I can't wait to try these. Oh, you can smell the cinnamon. Mm. And you can see how they've been cooked golden brown, like just like the recipe says. And you can see all the syrup that yes. is all soaked in, like the brown syrup we made before. I can't wait. Mmm. Mmm. It's soft inside. Mmm, yum. It's delicious. Mmm. I love good sisters. Oh, they are so <laughs> yummy. You might be able to try this at home or just do some twisting or some plaiting with some Play-Doh. Who knows? Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Bev, for telling us all about your country, South Africa. We're so excited you're here with us to tell us about it. It's you're been welcome. a great day. It has, hasn't it? I've enjoyed being with you all. And we have learned so much. Thanks for coming. Bye. Bye. Bye.